Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's still early in the season, but a lot can be learned from early matchups in conference play. Time to take you out to the Pac-12. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Except it's far from quiet right now at Martin Stadium. And now let's head down the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Marks' decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 14. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. He's under some heat, and he's sacked. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Three down, three down. Quarter's the mark. Squeeze. Here we go. Flash and five. Flash. 85. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And down he goes, right around the 12-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Washington State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Snyder has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Walker fields it at the three. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He passes it. Incomplete pass. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Get 
He lost the ball. It's picked up. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From their own 39-yard line, third down. Gets it out quickly. He's at midfield. Still dragging guys. Brought down at the 46. That makes it first and 10. From the 46 yard line. First down. Quick release. Oh, and it knocked down. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with his play call. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up the first down. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at the 31. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. Two down, two down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Here we go. Deep pass to the end zone. Caught, touchdown, Rams. And he adds the extra point. A nice five-play, 61-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yard and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Garrison has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he's taken down at the 35. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Wants to go long and does. No, incomplete. West is the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Hit hard for a loss. Good possession there for the defense. Fourth down. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He's got the corner. Meyer takes it at the 47. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. 
Here's a running play. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Colorado State is up by four. They bring the quarterback down. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He's going to air it long. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. the PAT. So a short three-play, 41-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 14-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Colorado State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. raise a few eyebrows around the country. 14-3, Rams. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike 40, Mike 40. Come on out here, come get some. Come get some, come on here. Come on. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle around the 33-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 28-yard line. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Pass right, running back's got it. Oh, the loss of five yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled at the two yard line. This 
kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice nine play, 58-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense, outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Walker takes it at the four. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado State holds a four-point lead. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. He heaves it deep. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. first and goal. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Here they come. He's on the run at the 30. They'll bring him down right around the 16-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. They come out in a five-wide set. He makes it to the 15-yard line. the catch and gets out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not.
After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. The Rams wide receiver out with that injury earlier. He's still in the locker room. We don't think he's going to make a comeback today. Touchdown, Washington State. Tacks on the extra point. Washington State is ready to kick it away. Walker takes it from the six. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard line. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 49. First down. Colorado State is up four. Going long. This one will fall incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Quick throw onto the receiver, incomplete. Johnson's intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Broussard gets him about three yards with a completion. That makes it so Reynolds is waiting for the snap. State's offense has struggled here in the second quarter. Kirk, what do they need to do to get uh, going on this next drive? Well, Brad, I think they need to reestablish the rhythm that they had early in this game and just kind of go back to the basics of what that game plan was. Running the football, a, a passing game that you have confidence in, just trying to become a little bit more balanced, and, and then I think you'll find that rhythm and make it easier to drive the ball and put points on the board. And down he goes at about the 35. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. The Rams lead it by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Colorado State is up by four. the middle and he's stuffed from their own 21 yard line it's second down throw by the quarterback but to be fair that was pretty good coverage completes it but he can't shake the defense Chavez is back deep to return the punt. Brought down at the 49. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Smith is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 49. Slings it. He's taken down at the 40 yard line. six-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. to work. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 22-yard line. number eight on the drive. Swings oh, 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 
brings it out there incomplete. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. And they push him out at the three. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24. Washington State's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Colorado State with a one-point lead. He's tackled at the 25. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Three-yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Reynolds awaits the snap. for the corner and he shoved out of bounds right around the 44 yard line this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense gets it out to his receiver in a hurry tackle at the 40 Seven yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That makes it third and three. And he's tackled at about the 27 yard line. some heat and a quick throw brought down right around the six yard line This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They'll get him for a loss. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads.
Washington State is trying to take the lead here. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Snyder ready to kick. From the seven. Knocked out of bounds at the 27. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. 23-21, Washington State. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and 10, ball on the 27. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good work. That makes it for the seven. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Jenkins with the tackle at the 42-yard line. First down. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Little screen pass. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. up seven yards with that catch seven yards that'll bring up third and two and here's another third down From the 40-yard line, second down. with room to work and down he goes at about the 17 yard line i'll tell you something i'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose from the 17 yard line it's first down just under three to go in regulation Pass. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. hit immediately in the backfield.
from the six yard line. Second down. Pocket holds. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. They're going to try for the two-point conversion. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike, 51. Mike, ready. Doesn't sound like much to complete a pass for three yards. Being in front of the end zone with points on the line makes it a much tougher proposition. Garrison has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And down he goes at the 28. The Cougars have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Complete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Complete. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, the 10, and it's a whole new ball game. Marks' game showing us another dimension. Kirk, I think maybe you could have done that back in the day. <laughs> I don't know about that. He's really turned it on, put the Jets on, and got into the end zone. What a crucial point in this game to be able to deliver for his offense the way he did right there. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point, and he adds the extra point. A six-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Snyder looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds it's second and ten ball on the 42 
Throws to the receiver, incomplete. quickly the junior makes the catch he's taken down at the 32 that was more than enough to pick up the first down next time this defense will be playing on their heels we've got a first and ten ball on the 32 throws and watch out oh almost had a pick Taken down around the 21-yard line. Colorado State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Slings it. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. We have less than a minute to go. He can't get away from the pressure. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes his third and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. And he converts the extra point. An 11 play, 68 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 34 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Almost intercepted. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 34-30, Ram. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.